The illusion that MAGA politicians want to project is that they are the authentic voice of the working class against the woke elites. It's an illusion that conveniently obscures the actual class and material interests at play. The GOP, re GOP remains reliably a party wholly devoted to the bosses. We got to watch this whole narrative implode on itself in real time today in Washington. The president of the Teamsters was testifying before the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, and Republican Senator Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma, who used to own a plumbing company, tried to grandstand. Union pipe fitters decided they were going to come after us. They would show up at my house. They'd be leaning up against my trucks. I'm not afraid of a physical confrontation. In fact, sometimes I look forward to it. When that didn't work, they started picketing our job site, saying, shame on Mullen. Shame on Mullen. For what? For what? Because we were paying higher wages? Because we had better benefits and we wasn't requiring them to pay your guys' exorbitant salaries? You talk about CEOs that are making all this money? And what do you make, Mr. O'Brien? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Yeah, I know what you make, because in 2019, your salary was, um, what is this, 193000 I'm sure you got some pay raises since then. Yeah, when I was a... And the average UPS driver, the feeder driver, makes... 35000 a year? That's and what do you bring That's to inaccurate. Hold on a second. That's inaccurate. State no, facts. I've got it right here. State facts. That's inaccurate. The average UPS feeder driver makes 35000 If you don't know your facts, then maybe you should. Well, I, I know them because I negotiate the contract. So I say, I say one thing to you. What do you bring for that salary? What do I bring? Yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what job have you committed or have you, have you uh, uh, started? What job have you created? One job other than sucking the paycheck out of some other body, somebody else that you want to say that you're trying to provide because you're forcing them to pay dues? And no, then, we don't force them. Senator, you've asked the you're question. You're out of line. Actually, I have not Don't tell me I'm out of line. You are out of line. Don't tell me I'm out of line. Well, you, you, you frame, don't tell me. You I'm frame, frame, you frame, you frame third, the statement like a tough guy. You shut your guy. mouth yeah. because you don't know you're what you're talking about. You're going to tell me to shut my mouth? Yes, I did. Hold it. Tough guy. I'm not afraid of physical. Senator, hold it. But don't sit there and tell me I'm out of line. Senator. You made a statement. You asked the question. I didn't ask a question. You did. You did. I answered question. the question. You asked the question about how well, much money you Let him answer. It was, rhetor it was a Let, rhetorical Well, question. you may think it's rhetorical. It sounded was rhetorical. to me like a question. Let him answer the question. I'm not yielding my time to him. So if you're going to let me keep my time, that's fine. You'll have your time. Let him. You ask your a question. question. He has so, a right to answer that. As far as my salary goes... My salary, if you follow me around, I walk, I actually look at this building. I bet you I work more hours than you do, twice that's, as many that's hours. That's impossible. But no, that is, that's true. Sir, you don't secondly, know what hard work is. Secondly, if you want to follow yeah. my schedule, be Secondly, be, I'll do it in a follow. minute. That's we not, hold greedy CEOs like yourself not, accountable. You call me a greedy CEO. Oh, yeah, you are. Yes. You want to attack my salary, I'll attack you up. What did ahead. you make? What did you make when you owned your company? When I made my company, I kept my salary down at about uh, 50000 a year because I invested every penny into it. Okay. All right. You mean you hid money? No, I didn't hide. Oh, oh. hold on a second. Okay, close. He said that's out of line. You said right, I was out of line. We're even. We're, even. Made, made, we're not even. We're not even close to being even. <laughs> yeah, you made 50000 You hid money. Now, former company owner Mark Wayne Mullen uh, knows perfectly well the salary is not the full picture of CEO compensation. Here's an example. Jeff Bezos. Know that guy, right? You know what his base salary has been? Stated just over $81,000 a year from 1998 into this decade, but he is, of course, one of the, if not the wealthiest men on earth. According to the Tulsa World newspaper, Mark Wayne Mullen is also doing pretty well himself. Quote, Mullen saw his reported assets balloon from somewhere between $7.3 to $29.9 million at the end of 2020. To a range, that was a starting range, between $31.6 to $75.6 million at the end of 2021. Hardly the asset declaration of a working stiff.